Hi guys, this is Angela from the London App Brewery. In this episode, we're going to teach you how to download your app onto your iPhone um, or iPod Touch and how to run. So there's a number of steps involved and there's a few things that you need to have before you can proceed. So firstly, make sure that you check that your Xcode version is Xcode 7 and above. So 7.1, 7.2, etc. That's all good. That's because before Xcode 7, you were not able to download your app and put it onto a physical device unless you paid for a Apple developer license. But since last September, that has all gone away and you're able to download your apps finally onto your own phone. The other thing that you have to check is make sure that your iPhone or iPod Touch has been updated to the latest version of iOS. Now, this is a little bit tricky. So because if your iPhone is more up to date than your Xcode version, then this won't work. Um, so make sure that, say, if you've got Xcode 7.2, that you've got iOS 9.2, etc. Just match up the um, the Xcode and iOS versions. The easiest way to ensure that you have this is just to update the Xcode software to the latest version and also update the iOS on your phone or iPod Touch to the latest version. And this way you can be sure that they definitely match up. Great, so let's go ahead and connect our phone up to the laptop with a USB cable. So firstly, let's have a look at which iOS version that you're running. So I'm running 9.2 at the moment. So you can go into settings, scroll down to general, go to about, and you can spot it right there, 9.2.1, which is fine. Now let's go into Xcode, about Xcode, and we're running version 7.2. So 7.2 and 9.2, that's absolutely perfect. Um, now, if you need to update Xcode, just go into the App Store and update to the latest version. And again, in your iPhone, just go to Software Update to check for the latest updates. Great. So now that we've got our software versions matched up, now we're going to go into um, Product and Destination. Right, so now that we've got our software versions matched up between Xcode and your iOS version, um, we're going to go into product and we're going to go to destination. And then we will be able to see our device here if it is indeed plugged in. So make sure it is. Right, so head over to Xcode preferences and make sure that you've got account, the accounts tab selected. Now here we are going to add in our um, a Apple ID. So click on the plus button and add Apple ID. And we are going to type in the email and password that's associated with the account that you normally use to download apps on your phone. So this doesn't need to be a paid developer program. Um, you can join the program at a later stage when you're ready to upload it to the app store. But just to have the app downloaded onto your phone, you just need a normal Apple ID. So enter it in, go ahead and click add. Um, and then we are just going to do one final check. Just make sure the app that you want to run is here and that you've got your device selected. Then go ahead and click the play button. OK, so now that you've pressed run, this is a warning that you might get on your iPhone. Um, it will say untrusted enterprise developer. Um, and it will have your developer name, so your Apple ID showing on here. And it will refuse to launch it onto your phone, which is fine. Now, it's difficult for me to show you this live on my phone because my device is actually registered with Apple as a development device. So I'm going to show you through what's actually going to happen and what usually happens to our students. So this pop-up will show you click Dismiss. And then you go into your settings on your iPhone um, and go into general and profile and then just click on the app that you are trying to launch. In this case, it should be Dicey um, and it will say, do you trust your own Apple ID? So it'll be, do you trust the developer Angela? And then you just click on trust 
and then click on confirm and then that's it. So once you've completed this step, we're going to go back into Xcode and everything should work just fine. Okay, so now that you've completed all of those steps, it's time to run the app on your phone. How exciting. So we are going to make sure that our device, our physical iPhone is selected over here and then just press the play button. Now at this stage, it's very important to not try and click on the app icon as soon as you see it. Wait for Xcode to launch it automatically. Um, this is very important. Okay, so now that we can see our app on our phone and it works great both in uh, landscape and portrait and we can shake the phone and shake it again to see that our app is working. Press the roll button, it's also working. Brilliant, so that's it. You've got it on your iPhone. You've got it loaded up right here. You can see the app icon and now you will have that to keep on your phone to show anybody you like.